What does it take to win the Victoria Cross? Over the decades, the nation's highest military honour has been awarded to the bravest of the brave from every service except the Navy. Now an inquiry is investigating the exploits of 13 men, most of them naval personnel, to see if their acts of heroism warrant a posthumous VC. Three generations of one family came to convince the Victoria Cross inquiry their uncle Robert Rankin deserves a posthumous Victoria Cross medal but missed out because he was in the Navy. Irrespective of what particular force you're in, it's the heroism on that particular occasion which caused your death. The former naval lieutenant commander died in action in 1942 after he placed his ship HMAS Yarra between a far superior enemy force and the small convoy he was escorting to Fremantle. I think it brings a conclusion to a long history of wondering why. There's a submarine named after our family name and obviously yeah, telling the stories about old um, uncle Robert Rankin. The Rankin family answered questions from the tribunal, but their case will still need more evidence of his bravery. The inquiry will look at the acts of gallantry and valour under fire of 13 servicemen and whether they received appropriate recognition. The argument has been put by a number of people, MPs, family relatives, that perhaps they should have been rewarded with a higher award, such as the Victoria Cross. And what we've got to be able to do is find new evidence that raises Waller's performance. He made the deliberate and conscious decision to charge straight uh, at the enemy's gun muzzles and torpedo tubes to fight his way through. Broadcaster and naval historian Mike Carlton believes an injustice has been done. Seems wrong, doesn't it? Of, of 98 Australians who've won the Victoria Cross, not one has been a member of the Royal Australian Navy. Submissions to the tribunal will continue around the country with recommendations to be given to the government around the end of the year. Karen Tan, ABC News.